Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sew an inseam pocket. Sometimes it's also called a side seam pocket because these pockets go right into the side seam of a garment. So you'll find them in dresses or skirts or pants or shorts, kind of anything that has a side seam that's gonna go over your hip area. In today's video, I am sewing a hack of my Miri tank top and I have added a skirt, a nice gathered skirt to this tank top and I'm putting my pockets right into the side seam of the skirt. You can see them right here. So you will often find side seam pockets in dresses like this or other garments where the designer doesn't want to use the pocket as a design element, but you still want a pocket there for functionality. So something that's loose fitting like this really works well because you won't see any lumps of the pocket underneath the fabric. I'm going to be doing a slightly more involved process for sewing a side seam that will ensure that these pockets are pretty invisible while you're wearing them. You can use this technique for any pattern that has a side seam going over the hips. And I even have a pattern piece that you can download on my blog that's free to download in case your pattern does not come with pockets. Let's get started. If your pattern does not come with an inseam pocket piece, I have one that you can download for free over on my blog, and I will have a link to that in the show notes. So after you download it, you will want to print it out at 100% scale. And to make sure you have the scale correct, I have a little test square here. So you just want to measure that square with your ruler and make sure that that's one inch. Then you can go ahead and cut out your pattern piece. Then you will need to cut out four pieces of fabric using this pattern piece. And that's gonna give you a front and back of your pocket for each side of your garment. So here I'm using two different kinds of fabric cause I just ran out of my main fabric. Using a lining fabric is a good option if you run out of your main fabric. So I've gone ahead and finished the curved edge of each pocket piece. I'm going to come back later and I will finish this straight edge along with my side seams. So the first step is going to be attaching our pockets to our side seams. So I'm going to attach my navy ones to the front and these pattern ones to the back because if you're looking at the dress from the front and you see the opening in the pocket, then you would see the fabric that matches. Um, so that's just a personal preference. You can do whatever you like with your pockets. So for my skirt, I'm doing a gathered skirt and I'm just using two big rectangles of fabric. So to figure out my pocket position, I tried on the bodice of my dress and then pinned my skirt to the bodice and just um, kind of eyeballed, measured how far down I want the pocket to be. So I want mine to be four inches down. And generally you're gonna want that pocket just to be at a distance that's very accessible to your hand and not too low down on the hip. So the position of your pockets really just depends on what you're making. So I'm just gonna use, using these pins to mark four inches down from the top. And then this is going to be the front of my skirt and this is gonna be the back. So for my front, I will put a pocket right sides together this is the right side of my skirt and just pin this in place. And then here's my pattern pocket piece and I'm putting this on the back. So again, just lining it up with the top of my pocket four inches from the top of the skirt. I'm gonna pin the other pockets to the other sides of the skirt and head over to the sewing machine. All right, I have my machine set up with a regular straight stitch and the pattern I'm using uses a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And I wanna stitch my pockets on using just a slightly uh, smaller seam allowance. So that could be a half inch or a 3 eighths inch. I'm going to do 3 eighths inch and 
I will just start at the bottom of the pocket and stitch all the way to the top or vice versa and back stitch at the beginning and end. So there's that seam all stitched and now you want to finish this raw edge, finishing the pocket and the side seam together and repeat that for all four pockets. So after stitching your pockets to your side seams and finishing that seam, you're going to want to press the pocket away from the skirt. So you have kind of a little nose sticking out from your side seam. Now I'm going to understitch the pocket to the side seam. And this is an extra step that just will help keep that pocket hidden while you're wearing it. So I'm going to be using a 3.0 stitching length and stitching just to the side of the seam that I just stitched. Okay, so there's that little row of understitching and this is gonna be invisible when you're wearing the dress. You'll only see this. So don't worry about it being perfect. Okay, now it's time to sew our side seams. Here I have the back of my skirt right side up and I'm gonna take the front of my skirt and put it right sides together. So wrong side up. And I just want to align all these edges and pin it together. So hopefully your pockets are aligning. Um, if they're a little bit off, like an eighth of an inch or even a quarter of an inch, it's gonna be okay. That's one of the great things about um, these inseam pockets is that it's all hidden on the inside. So when you're stitching around here, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Nobody's going to know because it's just on the inside. So hopefully they do line up nicely because that'll make everything easier. You definitely want to make sure that your notches on your side seams are lining up. So like if you had a notch here and a notch here, that would be a really good indication that you have that side seam lined up. It's just the pockets where you don't have to be really 100% accurate. Okay, I'm gonna pin the other side of my skirt and then head over to the sewing machine. All right, I have my machine set to a regular straight stitch and I'm using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and I have that marked right here. So I'm going to just stitch down here. I'll go a little bit past where we where the pocket begins. So to right about here, right about five eighths, and then pivot and go around our pocket and do the same at the bottom of the pocket. So I like to start at the top and do a little back stitch. Okay, so I just pivot around and my estimate was pretty good. It's pretty close to 5 eighths of an inch. And again, this part, your seam allowance on the pocket doesn't have to be totally exact because it's gonna be hidden inside and you're not gonna see it. So sometimes it can be a little tricky to sew around this curve and it's okay if you need to lift your presser foot and adjust your fabric. Okay, and remember we're gonna stitch a little bit farther than our previous stitching line. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test and see if this is 5 eighths of an inch. Um, it's not quite there, so I'm gonna pivot back and stitch another stitch. Let's test it again, and that's much better. So let's straighten this out. Okay, and now we just stitch straight down all the way to the hem. Okay, now let's head over to the pressing station. All right, our last step is pressing the seam. Now the easiest thing to do is just press the seam towards the front. 
And as you recall, maybe my, um, my pocket that matches my fabric is on the back. So I would press my pockets just to the front and then press the whole side seam to the front. Now, if you are making a garment like a skirt with a side slit, you might want to press the seam open below the pocket. And if you want to do that, you'll need to trim the seam allowance. And you can, you can just cut right in here to the seam allowance, being careful not to cut through your stitching. And you would just cut this back piece of the skirt so that it opens up and then the front would stay down. I'm gonna go ahead and just press my seams to the front because with this skirt, I don't need to have a, um, a slit. So you just press it like that. And you really wanna make sure that you remember which is your front and which is your back, especially if you're going to be cutting the side seam. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have a garment that's already made and you would like to add pockets to it, and that garment has a side seam, then you can use this technique to do that. All you need to do is open up the side seam. You'll need to open it up a little bit bigger than this amount, probably an inch and a half on either side of where you wanna put the pocket in. Just use your seam ripper to open up that seam, and then you can follow the same instructions to insert your pockets. And remember, if you wanna download that pattern piece, I have a link down in the show notes. And if you wanna learn more about the Mary Tang Top pattern, I will also put that in a link down below. Thank you so much for following along. This video was a request from someone on my newsletter list. And if you have any special video requests, I would love to hear them. You can let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, I would be so honored if you hit the subscribe and like button down below. Happy sewing. Thank you.